Oscar joined our family two years ago in June. He's just like a fabulous part of the family and no one can walk past him without smiling. So he's, he's just a really happy um, creature to be around. I've donated blood about 57 times now. When I found out that dog, don dog blood donation was possible, it's just the thing that my family has always done and it seemed that he'd be the perfect donor, so we thought we'd give it a go. Sash has been around coming up to eight years and each year we need hundreds of blood donations. Oscar's our hero of the day and he's going to be donating some blood. After we take the blood from him, it's very possible that another patient could even use it today. So he's definitely going to save a life. When a dog comes in for blood donation, we perform a physical exam on them first to make sure that they're nice and healthy. Provided that's okay, we do some blood tests. And if everything passes the test, then they are ready for a blood donation. The actual collection time for blood donation is about 10-15 minutes max. We use the same collection sets as they do with humans. It's not very painful. We do take the blood from their neck, but they get a little bit of local anaesthetic. They don't feel a thing and most of them end up just lying there or falling asleep on the table. The blood that we get from our donors ends up going to those patients that have had bleeding from trauma, poisoning, surgery, or those that have blood diseases themselves. Jara required a blood transfusion as she ate some rat bait. There was a nurse who worked here at the time who had a Great Dane who was able to um, supply blood. Her, her dog was able to donate um, at Jara's special time of need and um, yeah, able to save Jara's life. So. The dogs definitely get a treat after they donate. They get a big bowl of yummy dog food, a collar to say that they're our blood bank hero, and a name up on the wall of fame. It's really nice to know that you know he's probably even going to help someone today. 